Morning, Steve. Warwick's elementary particle physics group was only founded two years ago, but it's fast developing a worldwide reputation. Funded partly by the university and partly by the government, it now has a full team of five academics. The group's brief is hugely ambitious. It aims to address fundamental questions that have divided opinion among scientists for centuries. What we're made of and where we came from, how the universe began and how it might all end. What we really want to do is to make a contribution towards answering some of the really big questions that are still existing in, in physics today. Now, one of those is where is the missing mass of the universe? We're in the embarrassing situation at the moment where 95% or so of the energy density of the universe is in a form which we don't have much of an idea what it really is. The visible universe as we see it and measure it accounts for only about 5% of that energy density. Another great mystery that the group is trying to grapple with is why the universe is dominated by matter rather than antimatter. The Big Bang, which we think is the origin of the universe, should have created matter and antimatter in equal amounts, but we only see and measure that our universe is made of matter. So the question is, where has all the antimatter disappeared to? And there are theoretical explanations for why this huge asymmetry has occurred, and the sort of experiment that our group is involved in can make measurements to help direct the theory into uh, just which approach is the correct one to be able to explain this. Despite being so new, the group is already playing a part in some major international research projects. Among them is the T2K experiment in Japan. The T2K project is illustrated here on the screen. We are going to fire a beam of neutrinos of one particular type called muon neutrinos almost 300 kilometers across Japan to a detector called Super Kamiokande, which is essentially a large vessel of water that sits inside a mountain and is able to detect neutrino interactions. Now, it's particularly exciting because it's the next generation of neutrino oscillation experiment that's able to measure with a, an accuracy far above what's been managed up until now uh, the neutrino oscillation phenomena but from a perspective that also has never been managed before. And that is, it's going to actually look for a different type of neutrino to what you started with. And we want to be able to visualize, in particular, a muon-type neutrino changing into an electron-type neutrino. And this has never been measured before. The experiment itself is not due to start until 2009, but Dr. Barker and his colleagues will be going to Japan over the next few months to help set it up. We'll keep you updated on their progress.